All right, mate, you're never going to guess where I am. Come on. Right, so, bit of a change. We're on a, on a coastal one tonight. It's a school night tonight. I'm, uh, I'm up in Scotland. Whoa. Is this a path? Yeah, it's a path. So, yeah, as I was saying, it's a school night. I'm up in Scotland working. And I thought, instead of sitting in a hotel bar on my own all night, supping beers, why not let's, uh, let's get on the beach and have a wild camp. Actually, where it all started, where, where I set fire to my kit. But yeah, it's beautiful here, really nice. Let's have a look. Yeah. Spot on, mate. <laughs> actually give myself quite a bit of a, a hike on this one um, last time I parked when I was down here I parked not too far away from the site where I was hoping to camp well to be honest I didn't even know where I was going to camp last time but this time I know where I'm going probably got about three miles walking down the coast maybe a bit more and then obviously bear in mind I've got to, I've got to do that again in the morning to get back to the van but I'll enjoy it I'm hoping there's a path going to turn up in a minute these rocks <laughs> How mint is that? You can actually pay to stay in that lighthouse. It's quite expensive. But you know what? You'd pay for these views, wouldn't you? But guess what? I'm getting them for free tonight. I'm not too far off now. I've probably got about, I don't know, about a mile walk left. Uh, we'll, be there, we'll be there soon. Now there's a reason why we come here for this one. And it's a bit cheesy, but it's a bit symbolic. So this was my first wild camp, this spot, with the Van Gogh Banshee. And yes, I did burn it and I did put a hole in it. But tonight could potentially be the last night sleeping in the Banshee. Now, I've ordered a new tent. <clears throat> it's much, much better. And after spending, you know, two nights camping in miserable conditions, I thought enough was enough. I need something that I can sit up in. And the Banshee, unfortunately for the guy, mate, I'm 6'3". I can't sit up in that Banshee. So anyway, bought a new tent. It's coming from China. I won't say what it is. I won't ruin the surprise. But I've got a beginner, if you can call him a beginner wild camper, he's ex-military, but um, someone who's looking to start out on wild camping. So I'm selling him my Banshee at a, a very reduced price for him, just to get him get him into the into the hobby, really. So. You may see that out still on our videos with its black patch. Um, but of course, I'll be getting a new one. Yes! Now, there's one downside to this location, as beautiful as it is. Uh, and it happens to be a nuclear power station. <laughs> but that doesn't bother me. You can't hear anything. Fish have free heads, but I'm not eating fish and I'm not fishing. So it's not too bad. But anyway, yeah, we're not, we're not too far from, from our spec now, so I'm going to have a little look around when I'm there. Oh, mate. Whew. It's a mint way to spend your evening after work, this. Drove up here this morning. Oh, I'm walking through loads of sand flies, I think they are. 
are they? Or is it flicking off my boots? No, that's minging. Sand flies. Yeah. Oh, disgusting. Ugh. Tell you what, mate. Some clouds have just rolled in now, and if they ruin my sunset, I'm just not made for this camping lark. I'm not having that. There you go, cloudy sky. Wouldn't be very fair now, that would it? <sighs> right, well, I've got my speck. Ech. Right, well, I've got my speck sorted. It's a bit closer to the lighthouse than the last one was. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stay there tonight. Take it all in, we'll get a sunrise, sunset in a bit, give you a few time lapses, clouds going by and all that, learn a few things. So uh, yeah, we'll, get, we'll give you some of that mate. Check out this beard, mate. Definitely need to get it trimmed. Hair's growing back a bit as well since the COVID cut. So I've got to get that trimmed off. My mate Sam's been Sam Stubble. He's been doing the old fade to get me back to, well, not back to me former self. Like, I think I think the hair's gone now. It's all grey. It's grown back all grey. Anyway, just had an attempt at doing a fire there. It's not very great. It's smoking though, so it's, it's getting rid of the midges. I mean, what, what they say about Scotland with midges, mate. It's true. I've been absolutely peppered with them since I got here. Sat down, mate. I've had them trying to bite my eyeballs. <laughs> I'm not even messing, mate. I've had, I've, had, I've had one in each eyeball there trying to come in, but I don't know. Should, should have listened to everyone when he said. See, last time I came, we all think it was in season. It must have been, what, April now? How long have we been doing this now? So, oh, mate, look at that. You ready? Scottish midges, mate. Ugh. Their pain. I've had a little bit of a fire going, a lot further away from the tent this time than, than I did last time. But I've got them literally, they're just, they're just flying all around me. Anyway, it's a bit of a short one this, not much talking. Um, it was a quick one out, so it was a Phoebe one if we work. I just wanted to get one last one in with the Banshee before it goes. Um, the next one's going to be out with Die. We're looking at another coastal one, but it's going to be a proper adventure loads of stuff going on in the place that we're looking at going so yeah so i'm getting peppered by midges so i'm going to retire back into the bedroom there is one other fail from the last trip in the peak district with dave outdoors that i need to mention to you is and i've lost my sea to summit eros pillow no idea where it's gone i was hoping when i got the tent out that it'd be in the tent i couldn't find it last night when i was packing anyway um i'm using a clothes bag it's a dry sack, so I can bang a bit of air in it. It's got a bit of padding from my clothes and whatnot, and uh, hopefully that'll just keep me comfy all night. So we'll see you in the tent. Right, well, that's me all tucked up. I think I'm covered in midgey bites. Won't be coming back to Scotland, I don't think, in the uh, in these sort of months. Especially when we've got, you know, Wales so close and the Peak District and whatnot. But, yeah, so we're tucked up. I haven't got my pillow. I've got clothes bag in a... Dry sock, as I said, it's good. It's quite warm tonight as well. It's probably about 14 degrees, not much wind. You can see bugs in here already. Got a ladybug there. Yeah, I left, I left, the, left it open, didn't I? When I was here, shouldn't have really, but okay, I can see loads. Right, I've got to get these twats. Ah, oh, mate, that's, I'm just destined to get, I'm destined to get bit up, mate, gutted. Oof. 
Yeah, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold as well. I don't know if you can hear it in me. It's not good. Hope we don't wake up with COVID. That'd be pretty scary, wouldn't it? Won't put it past me with my luck. <laughs> right, it's full of bugs, mate. It's absolutely full of bugs in here. It's my own stupid fault. Right. So that's obviously the failure from this bloody trip out, innit? Sure you just you lot just watch me to laugh at me. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm signing off. Get me head down. I'm knackered. See you in the morning. Just found that in the bottom of my bag. How? Definitely wasn't there yesterday. Well, it was hidden. Anyway, that thing worked out all right. packed up. Just a little piece of flat grass there if you can even see it. Discarded of any of the uh, the burnt bits of wood just threw them further down onto the shoreline so they'll get they'll get washed away. There's a little bit of ash there but uh, as soon as it rains the ash will wash out all that. Uh, the rain will wash all the ash away so it is in my opinion LNT. It always is on a beach especially a rocky beach. Turned a few of the stones and whatnot, but yeah, all the, all the wood is in, is in where the, the tide's going to come in, so yeah, we'll just get washed out to sea. Anyway, got about, I'm hoping it's not a two hour hike, <laughs> hopefully about an hour, an hour and a half hike this morning before work, get to work before everyone, brush my teeth, um, have a wash and get about my day. So yeah, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oosh.